Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about most important and often confused terms in Azure Fundamentals AZ900 exam. There are high chances of getting questions related to all of these topics in your Fundamentals exam. Let's see what is the difference between authentication and authorization. Authentication is a process of verifying user's credential or identity. You might also have come across multi-factor authentication, which requires an additional form of identification, such as enter a code from your cell phone or provide a fingerprint scan. Now, what is authorization? The process of ensuring that only authenticated identities get access to the resources. In this case, it's Azure resources. For example, providing username and password is authentication, whereas authorization specifies what data you are allowed to access and what you can do with it. Let's see what is elasticity and agility. These are also the key features of cloud computing. Elasticity is the concept of having the ability to scale in and scale out on demand based on the user load. For example, increasing or decreasing the number of virtual machines as per the demand. Agility. Agility often refers to the ability to rapidly develop, test and launch the applications. In other words, it's the ability to react fast. The next one is low latency and high availability. A cloud service that has fast response times over the internet is known to have a low latency. High availability is the agreed level of operational uptime for the system. It is a simple calculation of system uptime versus the whole lifetime of the system. Resource group versus management group. A resource group is a container that holds resources. Here the resources or your Azure services. On the other hand, management group helps to manage access, compliance and policies for their subscription. It is Azure IoT Hub and Azure Event Hub. IoT Hub is a service that is used to process millions of data from sensors. Whereas Event Hub is used to correlate events from multiple resources into a central repository. Azure HD Insights versus Databricks. HD Insights is open source framework that can be used for distributed processing and big data analysis. It supports Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, HBase, Hive and Storm frameworks. On the other hand, Databricks is a big data collaboration platform based on Apache Spark framework. And Azure HD Insights and Azure Databricks both fall under PAAS, which is Platform as a Service. Capital Expenditure versus Operational Expenditure. CAPEX is the upfront spending of money on physical infrastructure and then detecting that upfront expense over time. Establishing a data center is an example of capital expenditure. In operational expenditure, there is no upfront cost. You pay for a service or the product as you use it.
Paying monthly salaries to employees is an example of operational expenditure. Azure Firewall versus Network Security Group Firewall is a service that can be used to protect Azure Virtual Network resources against internet-based attacks. Network security groups contain security rules that allow or deny inbound and outbound network traffic. Remember, both Azure Firewall and Network Security Group does not encrypt the traffic. Thanks for watching this video and if you find it useful, please subscribe to our channel and do watch our video on how to get Azure Fundamental Certification for free.